Welcome to episode 24 of 7 Minutes of Bond Locations. It's yet another extended episode and together with Thomas Gleitzman I will show you some of the spectacular locations from The Man with the Golden Gun and Tomorrow Never Dies. So therefore we will travel to Thailand. The Kingdom of Thailand, formerly known as Siam, has a population of just over 66 million people. Despite its somewhat sleazy reputation, Thailand is a very friendly country and a wonderful holiday destination. Part of its attraction lies in the fact that Thailand is relatively cheap for Western tourists. For only a few euros or dollars a day, you can travel, eat and sleep, if you're willing to lower your standards a bit. And to those who want to spend more, Thailand offers some of the finest hotels and resorts. From the busy streets of Bangkok to the pristine beaches and temples, Thailand never stops to amaze and deliver. Two Bond films were shot in Thailand. In 1974, uh, The Man with the Golden Gun, uh, in it Bond ends up in Bangkok in his search for Scaramanga. While 23 years later, Bangkok doubles for Saigon in Tomorrow Never Dies. Both films involved big chase scenes in the city, which must have been quite challenging to film. Bangkok's rapid growth, coupled with little urban planning, has resulted in a haphazard cityscape and inadequate infrastructure which ultimately led to a more or less permanent traffic congestion. In 2008, uh, when I published uh, my On the Tracks of 007 book, we covered only the main filming locations. At that point, a lot of the smaller locations were unknown to me, and therefore uh, they were not included in the book. That was until, I think, 2017 or 18, uh, when Thomas Gleitzman informed me that he had discovered many, or maybe even all, of the smaller locations as well. How that came about and where it all led to, uh, we will find out from the man himself. So Thomas, welcome to the show. Hello Martin, somebody cup. It's good to see you again. Uh, we are going to talk about your favorite subject, Thailand. Can you tell me why you like Thailand so much? Well, I love Thailand so much. I was there many times and they have a lot of uh, great uh, holiday destinations there. Um, I love the food, the culture, the friendly people, um, the nature, jungle, um, a lot of temples they have uh, which are very nice. Before talking about uh, some of specific locations, uh, let's first look at some of the places that you discovered. One of the main locations we did include in the original book can be found just outside the city. The Ancient City Museum or Muang Boran. It's an open-air museum where many of Thailand's temples or typical houses have been recreated or sometimes even relocated. One of them is the Dvarati House, which doubled for High Fats Karate School in Golden Gun. From there, the scene turns into a boat chase, which was filmed at Klong Dam. Here, Thomas managed to find every camera angle. Um, many of the temples from the movie are still there today. And if you book a private boat um, to Klong Dam, it feels like traveling back in time to uh, 1974. It's an unbelievable nice area. 
As you can imagine, cities change a lot over the years, and so did Bangkok. But monumental temples uh, are usually well kept and, and they stay recognizable. Um, they look exactly like they did almost 50 years ago, even though the surrounding area might have changed completely. Now let's talk about another chase for a moment. What was your favorite location discovery from Tomorrow Never Dies? From Tomorrow Never Dies, my favorite spot is um, the rooftop chase with the motorcycle and the helicopter. Um, there are 10 separate houses uh, which were connected uh, with about 20 small bridges um, to, uh, on the roofs to drive there. It, it's an amazing location and um, I was the first to visit this spot. After, uh, after a long search, yes. In Golden Gun, there was also another huge chase scene, apart from the boat one, and that was the car chase, uh, which started at the kickboxing stadium. When Bond discovers Mary Goodnight has been kidnapped and that she has the car keys with her, he is in need of a new vehicle. He finds one at a location that I thought I would never find, but luckily you did. This was my very first location that I found after many hours search with Google. And um, it was my beginning of the modern style of location hunting uh, with Google. It was in uh, 2007. And I uh, visit this uh, this place, and it, it was amazing. And um, unfortunately, it was demolished in 2017. The highlight of that car chase is my favorite stunt in any Bond movie: the so-called Astro Spiral Jump. This stunt, Eon built no less than two bridges on two different locations. The first one can be seen in the shot in which Bond hits the brakes. The second one is where they actually perform the jump. Once you know, you can clearly see the difference in the rivers or canals. In the late 1960s, Raymond McHenry was working on computer software that could calculate the behavior of vehicles in car crashes. When he got in touch with Jay Milligan, who ran stunt shows across the US, they developed an idea for a 360 degree barrel roll stunt that would be meticulously calculated by McHenry's computers and could be performed in Milligan's thrill shows. The first of such thrill shows that featured the stunt was the Houston Astrodome show in January 1972. And this is why the stunt became known as the Astro Spiral Jump. The unique stunt caught the attention of Eon, who hired Milligan as a stunt coordinator on the man with the golden gun. Since Milligan had a promotional agreement with American Motors, their latest model, the AMC Hornet, was used in the film. Lauren Bumps Willard was the stunt driver who only needed one take to perform the stunt, even though he had never done it before. For many years, the exact location where this stunt was performed remained a mystery. The film footage gives away hardly anything. Um, people connected to the to the shoot uh, couldn't remember 
and Eon's official call sheets only state Klong Rangsit as the location. And since that canal is over 50 kilometers long, I've given up hope of ever finding the exact spot. Until one day, a map resurfaced from the Eon vault. It was first published in Paul Duncan's The James Bond Archives in 2012. A small schematic hand-drawn map of the Rangsit area, uh, which showed several side canals, detailing what was filmed where. So that narrowed down our starting point, and Thomas took it even further. Martin uh, and, and me, we, we had a very long discussion about and after many weeks of thinking about it, I had the idea that the concrete road they built for the astro spiral jump um, still had to be there. And I searched with, with Google Street View and I found a very old road that differs from all the other roads there. It's uh, about 750 meters long, it's very narrow, and uh, very straight without any bend. And it has no bridge at the end on the Klong side, which makes no sense from a road construction point of view. So uh, here is where all the combined evidence leads to. This is where they filmed the Astro Spiral Jump. You're not thinking that. I sure am, boy. Never heard of Evil Knievel. A bit further along that same canal, we discovered another location. It's the place where Scaramanga drives into, closely followed by Bond and J.W. Pepper, when he's about to convert his car into a plane. That location is actually a monastery, and a clear hint with the Thai monks walking around in that scene. I talked to the abbot there in the temple, and he told me that I was the first one in 44 years which asked about uh, the Bond filming there. And it, it was amazing. Uh, the abbot also confirmed the astral spiral jump road and the location uh, because uh, he saw the stunt uh, live in uh, 1974. And he also found himself on one of the screenshots from the movie. And um, as, a, as a young monk walking uh, through the temple, it, it was amazing to talk about uh, the abbot. He was 73 years old when I was there and 60 years living in the temple and he got very excited when I asked uh, him about Bond and uh, showed him all the screenshots from the movie. Now both Golden Gun and Tomorrow Never Dies end in one of the most scenic places uh, of Thailand and maybe of the whole world, Panga Bay. In 1974, Guy Hamilton came to one of the tiny islands called Khao Ping Khan, with the smaller rock island in its bay. Hamilton was later proud to say he put the area on the map, as today the island is worldwide known as James Bond Island, and many hundreds of tourists visit the island every day.
for Tomorrow Never Dies they even filmed nearby, on the neighboring island of Koh Yang. Thomas, can you give any insider tips uh, on, on, on what the best way is to visit these islands? You can visit James Bond Island very easily with an organized day tour from Phuket, Kaolak or, or Krabi. Um, these tours are, tours are offered everywhere, but unfortunately you are there on the island only for a very short time and together with hundreds of other tourists and you cannot enjoy the location. So I recommend booking a private boat from home before your trip to Thailand and um, with that you will be there early in the morning on the island and you are all alone and it's 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 very nice in the morning and um, later you can also ask the boat driver to visit all the other bond locations there in Pangnaga Bay like uh, Koyang, Kololo or the the beautiful sea locations there for all the for all the islands i think you need three or four hours um for james bond island i i recommend one hour on the island to visit all the uh, spots on the two different beaches in 2019 thomas helped me out with a new book which became our guide to Thailand. And we are both pretty pleased with the final result. Yes, it's a complete guide um, with lots of maps, screenshots, uh, coordinates, travel tips. And there are no secrets or mysteries anymore about unknown spots from the movies. So it's, it's complete. If you're curious, go check out this wonderful travel guide. Just go to onthetracksof007.com and you might even be able to pick up a copy signed by Miss Goodnight herself, as Britt Eglin signed some copies for us. Thomas, any general last minute tips? I think people traveling to Thailand can easily combine regular vacations with bond locations. And um, usually you always have a few days in, in Bangkok after arrival, so you can make the Bangkok locations from movies and uh, later you will most likely have some days in the south on, on the beach hotel and um, which could be the starting point for a visit to Panglaga Bay, James Bond Island. That's wonderful. Now go get that guide and go to Thailand. Thomas, thank you so much for your support on this episode and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for having me on your show, Martin. Bye bye. Well, not a bad place to end an episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to support on the tracks of 007. I uh, hope to... Um... That's odd. Did I just do that? Anyway, what? Hey! Come on. Stop doing that. Who's in charge here? I did... Do you... Are you, are you, are you ch Come on, bring me back. <sighs> Stop doing that. I don't want to be there. No, and I don't want to be there either. No. <sighs> Come on, this is such a juvenile joke. Who's doing that? Can somebody please bring me back? Show a little professionalism here. Come on, guys. Hasta la vista, baby. Could you please change it back so I can finish this episode? Jeez, come on. Well, anyway, just hope to see you again next time. Check out on the tracks of 007.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.